In this video, I'm gonna be testing out eight golf balls with a seven iron driver to give you the insights of which ball you should be using in 2023. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a while. If you haven't checked out my lives last week, I was out in Greece, Costa Navarino, Team Challenge Trophy. It was a great, fun four days, three rounds, four shootouts, clinics. 36 of us were out there. If you want to get involved, drop me a comment in the box below and uh, we'll get you involved for the 2024 event. Today, I want to talk to you about eight golf balls that are influential in giving you insight into which ball you might want to use for 2023. I get this asked a lot, what ball should I be using? Well, to be brutally honest with you, I'm not aware of all of the balls that are on the market and nor do I know how they play. So this is gonna be some good insight for me as well. What have we got? Well, we've got the Commodore Garden Pro V1, standard Titleist Pro V1. Then we've got the Titleist Pro V1 X. Now, if you didn't know, the X used to be the low spinner, the X is now the high spinner. So interested to see the difference between the standard Pro V1 and Pro V1 X. Then we've got the Swixen AD333. Then we've got the Titleist Tor, Tor Soft, excuse me, couldn't read the writing, bad eyes. Then we've got the Callaway Pro Chrome Soft. Then we've got the Bridgestone Tor 8 RXS. Then we've got the Titleist AVX. And then we've got the TaylorMade TP5. I went downstairs. <coughs> Personally, when I'm coaching, I always have the Tor, uh, the Titleist Pro V1 and the Titleist Pro V1X. Just got a new stock, so I've got 80 brand new V1s and VXs for my clients to use, which is always nice. Here's how this uh, test is gonna work out. Up on the screen, I've got a slightly different set of numbers that we might usually see in, in my videos. Got the attack angle. The attack angle is how much we're hitting down. You'll all know that by now. How much you hit down will affect how much dynamic loft and spin loft that you put on the golf ball relative to the face to path. So what I wouldn't want to do is unfairly test two shots that are going to deliver different spin rates as a standard. So I want to make sure that we're getting a fair test here. So attack angle and face to path are two data points that are really important for me to see that I can compare like for like. Then we've got a launch angle. Well, everybody wants to see, does the golf ball launch higher or launch lower? That's an uh, important insight. And then the spin rate, the spin rate is gonna give you ultimately more flight uh, to keep the ball up. Or if you're someone that has a high ball flight anyway, you might wanna reduce the, the spin rate. Let's start us off with the seven iron. As usual, I haven't hit many shots and we're gonna start with the Titleist Pro V1X, the high spinning ball of the Titleist family. Let's have a couple of swings because obviously we wanna make sure that the, spin, the swing speeds are the same. And obviously, we're not just gonna hit one shot, we're gonna sort of hit three or four, and then we're gonna hit some shots with the drivers. So we're straight out of the bag there. 3.4 down, 1.2 close to path. That's a 17.7 launch angle. And again, um, obviously the strike is gonna be important but I'm pretty adept at knowing where I'm striking that on the face and that was pretty much center for center. So that was a nice one to, to open myself up with. So a little bit right, so the face to path value went from one shut to one open. Saw the spin rate jump up a little bit more because obviously we had a slightly more lofted golf club when it struck the ball. So 
Come on, Mr. Trap Man. Very good. So very similar to the shot I hit the first one. See the carry numbers up on the left-hand side? 174, 172, 178. So very much the first and third shot there were very similar. Let's hit one more. As soon as I have a slightly more closed face to path, launch angle comes down, uh, spin rate comes down. I think that's a reasonable spread of shots. Look, I'm not a robot, so I'm not gonna necessarily stand here and be able to hit the same shot every time, but I haven't hit any clangers in there. So that's, that's ball number one. Then we're gonna go to the Titleist Pro V1, not the X. Make sure I've got the right one there. So the next, five, next four shots, we'll do four shots with each, each ball. So you don't get bored of watching me hit, but hopefully the data is going to be the one that you're more interested in. So straight out the bat, can't say I've noticed. I mean, they were fairly neutral. It was a fairly neutral swing, wasn't it? Can't say that that's anything particularly different. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tag these next four with each golf ball. So I've just put them in blocks so that we can, at the end of the video, we can track through the various golf balls. So another three with the, with the V1. We're not going to include that one because that was pretty much a pipe. Slightly stronger face to path value at 3.9, launch angle came down because of it. But interestingly, the spin rate, the spin rate held itself there at five and a half, which was good to see. That was a pretty nice shot. And then I'm just gonna hit one more just to raise the heel strike. Very good. So, got to tell you, not really seeing too much difference between the V1 and the X. Now we're going to move on to the Callaway Chrome Soft. I'm super interested in the Chrome Soft. I used this for a little while and I went back to the, to the Titleist. So interesting to see how, how this one performs. Had a very much a click, clickier sound when I used it way back when. Cool. So first shot out the bag, almost identical swing to a lot of the other ones. 3.2 down, one face to par. First one we've seen a launch angle sub 17 launch and a spin rate sub 5,000. That's interesting, isn't it? Second shot in there. Slightly more close face to path. Suddenly the, the launch angle has popped back up. Spin rate at 5.7. That didn't feel any different to the shot before. So it's stabilized back to Closer to the, the tightless data points, 17 launch, five and a half revs. So 
17 launch, five and a half revs. Well, so far, those first three balls haven't delivered too much difference, but obviously we'll reset and have a little look through the data points at the end of the, the video. Let's move on to the Bridgestone. So we've now got the Bridgestone Tor 8 RXS, or is it RX5? Could be a five, could be an S. I'll leave it to you guys out there that probably know more. Bridgestone ball. Never hit one of these before. I had a Rex star back in the day when Faldo was playing. That was my golf ball. Oh, that feels a little bit harder off the face. Again, launch is very, very similar. Spin rate is now. Again, first, second one we've seen where the spin rates come down below 5,000. That was a bit right, that one. I would have expected a little bit more spin rate than that. But still 5,700. Oh, first one we've seen up at 6,000. Very neutral. Launch angles popped up at 18. 6,100. Seventeen and a half. That one was slightly toey, so I'm going to go again because that did drop down. I'll delete that one from the data points. Going to hit one more of those. That was a nice strike. That ball certainly spins more. Those saw two there at six thousand plus. Launch is a little bit higher. Next up, we've got the TaylorMade TP5X. Let's see what this delivers as a golf ball. Alrighty. Again, another one that's blipped below the 5,000 rev mark worries me that as a, I'm a bit of a low spinner of the golf ball as soon as I start seeing, let me just adjust myself there, <laughs> um, a golf ball <coughs> blip below 5,000 with a seven iron, that, that thing's coming in hot man. Slightly lower launch angle. Didn't really do too much different there. Spin rate, nuts and bolts, very similar. Bit higher off the face that one, not too bad though. Hence the slightly higher launch angle and slightly lower spin rate. But look, like I said at the start, I'm not a robot, and so unless I hit a shot that's super out there, like the pipe I almost hit, I think it, it represents me as a golfer just keep doing my same thing, which hopefully is the same for you guys. Okay, that was a bad swing. That one's a bit right. So again, it's not really done too much different, is it? I mean, I was, it felt slightly off to the right, 
but launch angles in the wheelhouse and so too is the spin rate. That was the tailor made. Next up, we're going to use the Pro V1 AVX, uh, Titleist AVX. Titleist AVX, let's have a look, see what you offer. Oh, so a low launch, low spin. Not buzzing off of that one for me. <laughs> Again, a little bit of a draw, but not the end of the world of a swing. That one was a little bit right. But look. That's down to 4,800. And again, still quite a low launch or low end of the launch. Another one down at sub 5,000. Launch is down as well. This is not the golf ball for me, let me tell you, but it's the only one so far. And it'd be interesting to see the data, of course. Hang around to see the review of all the ball data. It's the only one that's really stood out from the crowd as a, as a low launcher. So that's the AVX. Got two golf balls left. We've got the AD333. And we've got the Tor Soft. Let's do the Srixon first. Srixon's up first, out of the last two. Let's hit one of these, see what this offers up. That was a pretty solid swing, that one. Again, lower end of the launch spectrum, lower end of the spin spectrum. Well, put my best two swings on it with the with the Srix and 16-7 launch, 5-3 spin. It's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. Slightly lower end of the spectrum, I did hit down on it with a slightly closed face to path. Hasn't, I mean, that would certainly highlight a slightly lower spin value than at 5.2. That's not too bad, really. Not too bad. Go one more with this one. Are we seeing much difference? I have to say, I'm not really, are we? I mean, 16, 6.8 launch, 5.5 five spin. And then we got the last one. This is the Titleist Torsoft. The eighth ball of the gang. Stay, stay with us. We're going to uh, review all the data after these four shots. Five, seven. So, if you're aware of TrackMan, the italic number say it's predicted. Now look, yes it's predicted, but it's a clinical environment, so we've done the same with everything. That one hit 3.6 down, the face to path is slightly closed, the launch angle is one of the highest, so one of the cl most closed face to paths, Launch angle has been up there, right in the 
sort of sweet spot of the launch angle and the spin rate's pretty high too. Slightly low on the face that one, that dragged the launch angle down but it kept the spin rate in a decent spot there. Slightly higher off the face, might have a slightly lower spin rate, not too bad, all in all, very happy with those spin numbers and launch angles. So one more and then we'll review the data. Sixteen launch again, five two spin rate, slightly down on the spin rate because the face to path was slightly closed. Well that's the, the hitting part which has worn me out at seven o'clock in the morning. But we're now going to review all of the ball data for the 7i. So let's take a look at the data here. And you can see on the screen, we've got the various data points running across the top here. We've got the attack angle, face to path, launch angle, spin rate, carry, and total. We've now converged all of the shots and given us some averages on not only the swing, but the spin rates, the carry and the total. The launch angle, obviously, as well. Now, when we look down at this data point, the first thing we want to check is that there's no swing anomalies. Let's have a look at down at the attack angles on all of the, all of the four shots that we've hit with each golf club. 3.5, 3.7, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 2.8, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51,
As a launch angle, it's launching slightly higher. We do actually see half a degree, 0.3 of a degree, greater launch with the V1X over the V1. Then we go up to the Bridgestone. Now this is the one where, this, as a swing die set of dynamics, we can see that my face to path value was super neutral on this one at 0.8, one degree shut. We do see a slightly higher launch by only half a degree, and we do see a spin rate <sighs> I mean, compared to the V1X, it's 100 revs more compared to the V1, again, 100 revs more. What am I seeing for carry number? I'm actually seeing less carry. Total, much the same. But I think already you're getting a flavor that there are no standouts here so far. Then we go to the TaylorMade TP5. This was the TP5X. Again, spin was interesting. It, it's the lowest we've seen so far in the test. The launch angle much the same, my face to path value much the same, and the, and the attack angle is. But what we're seeing is a slightly up in carry and a slightly increased in, in total. But again, it's nothing to get excited about. The AVX, this is the tightless AVX. Tack angle, the same, 3.3 down. Face to path value, two closed. This is the first one where we've seen a low launch and a low spin. This has really jumped up in some values. <clears throat> so the AVX at 16.6 .6 launch and with a spin rate of 4,900, is giving me a carry of 181 and a total of 191. So this is the first ball that's taken me into the 180 carries with my 7-iron. And this has given me a total yardage of 192. But that's because it's come at low launch and low spin, or lower launch and lower spin. About, we've lost a roughly 500 revs of spin with the Titleist AVX. Then we go up to the Srixen AD333. This is very similar to the Srixen AVX, uh, sorry, the Titleist AVX. The Srixen AD333, uh, 5300 in revolutions, a 177 carry and a 186 total. It's the lower end of all of the golf balls so far. The higher end of the spinning chart so far has been, ironically, the V1X and the V1. Then we go down to the Titleist Tour Soft. This is the lowest launching ball of all of the clubs, of all of the golf balls, but I have made my face to path value at two and a half shut to path, but that is exactly the same as the Chrome Soft uh, face to path value and we're actually seeing a degree less launch for that. But I have hit 0.7 more down with this golf ball than I have with the Chrome Soft. So you could arguably say because my attack angle was slightly more down, it's given me slightly less launch. The carry number is 175 and the total is 185. So I'm going to read out the carry numbers because that's ultimately what you're looking for, a golf ball that might optimize your carry. And if you're looking for ultimate carry, the golf ball out of all of these shots, or out of all of these balls is the Titleist AVX. That's the one that you're looking for. But let me warn you, the balls launched low and the balls had lower spin. And for that, I've lost the control between touchdown and end. It's a full 10 yards between it pitched and where it's finished. As a golf ball that's pitching and stopping the quickest, the Bridgestone has been the best golf ball for that. But what I can see from this test, golf balls are doing bugger all. From one ball to the other, they're at, with an iron, I'm actually seeing so little difference, so little difference. So I'd be cautious out there about if you've been using a golf ball for a long period of time and you like the feel of it, 
I'd stick with it. Because acoustically is really what you feel as a golfer. When you hit the golf ball and you hear a different sound, that's what you're feeling. You're not feeling it different off the face, I can promise you. You're feeling it differently acoustically, which will give you a sense that it's a bit harder or it's a bit softer. The acoustics will actually change your feels, not the golf ball itself. I'm gonna do one of these on a driver with exactly the same eight golf balls, and hopefully that'll be as insightful as this one, and who knows, maybe we'll see a different result. If you've enjoyed this video, do hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I think you'll agree that, my friends, is good coaching. Take it easy.